out the nick. I'm just joking. I didn't smoke the grinder that way. I smoked it in that it's burnt up. But I got to tell you about this Crossman. In that uh, I wanted to show you what I like about it, how long it lasted, and compare that to some of the other grinders I've had. Um, it lasted, I think, a year and a half. And as a comparison, these Harbor Freight Junkers I'd use, I'd burn up two per week, usually, on the Harbor Freight. So for a year and a half on the same kind of uh, duty cycle as far as usage, that was excellent, in my opinion. And as far as that goes, those, as well as these, what was really burnt up was the brushes, which could be replaced, but I'm not gonna do it. If I'm gonna take the time to replace brushes, it'll be on the blower motor or something, you know, the AC blower motor on that, that's $300 to replace and I can change out $5 brushes. Then I would take the time. Oh, by the way, I made a list of, in one day, that's the videos that I could make just from either footage I, I already have or just a little bit of supportive footage with some commentary. So that's from one day. It's a lot of videos to make. I don't know if I'll get to them. And I hope, hopefully I won't have a whole lot more ideas. So anyway, back to this. One of the nice features about the uh, Craftsman grinder is that when I got the Harbor Freight ones, I was always wanting to take off the, the guard because it was a pain. On this one here, you just push in on this little thing and you can rotate that guard around to anywhere you want, which is good because when you start getting a fresh stress fracture or something on these discs, they fly off at a lot of speed, you know, they can hurt you, take your finger off, take an eye, whatever. So I don't recommend taking the guard off. And when they make it like that, you don't really need to. So that was awesome. Uh, another thing that I really liked about this grinder, and I probably will put brushes on it because it's probably pretty good. I'll go get another one for now, was the way you took this off. Because then all you had to have was an Allen wrench. And see, I made mine look special with the little rubber thing. And that fits in the hole on that new shelf I built the other day too. Um, so that's just a whole lot easier than trying to get a, sit, a spanner situated on there. And... Uh, I do not miss having to use the spanners at all. Um, I did not like the dead man switch. You know, I bypassed that, but don't do that. Um, and right away, the end uh, broke on it, so I had to put a different end on it. But that's a, that's not that's not a big deal. Um, overall, I'm real happy with it. I'm going to probably go get another one exactly like it, and then when I get time, replace the brushes on this one. And then I'll have two of them. But um, those other ones use all this. See all that? You know, and they're all look at the different sizes. Do I got time to sort through and figure out which one goes to to what? You know, you know, I don't I don't have time for that. I ain't gonna do that. I I don't like that style of uh, of locking it down. In fact. I've got what people would consider to be high-end uh, grinders that I don't use because I don't like that kind of thing. This is the tool room, the shelving I did on the other video and stuff. But like here is a, oh, I said it, Nikita. Uh, Sorry for the camera. And And I won't use it because, you know, it's got this crazy little spanner here and trying to get it into two holes instead of one, you know, and everything. It just, I don't like it. It's no good to me. So, never, never really used it. But it'll go back to my brother. He, that he gave it to me. I'll, I'll take it back. Because these situations changed, and he could use it now instead of, you know. But anyway, that's the rundown on the Craftsman. Overall, I think it's a real good grinder for the price. So hopefully that information will come in handy. Right, have a good day.